Today we've got six head-turning fragrance clones that everybody will love the smell of. And I'm talking whether it's you, the person buying it and wearing it, the collector or the fragrance lover, enthusiast, whatever, but also the people around you. You know, you don't really have to be super into the hobby to really get some sort of enjoyment out of these. So if you generally like to play it safe and you like to wear things that will be well received by others, then these will be great options for you. You know, when you dive into the clone world, there are clones of a whole bunch of stuff. There can be clones of fragrances that are very daring and hard to pull off and not all that mass pleasing. That is not these. These are very easy to wear and they just smell great. And I will drop some links to these down below to discounters if you want to pick them up. Generally, Fragrance Buy will be kind of your, your best bet on getting these. Um, they generally have the best selection of clones and they get the newer ones in really quickly. I want to get things kicked off with one that I've already covered. I did a full review on it and you guys actually were really interested in that video. Going into it, I was thinking, I don't think anyone's going to watch this. I really was not expecting people to, but you guys clicked on it and you liked it. It's Alhambra Alpine Ohm Sport, and I'm sure you can tell what this one is a clone of, right? They're going straight for the throat of Chanel, which is not really a brand that you want to mess with, but they did it anyway. Yeah, this is a clone of Allure Ohm Sport. And, you know, if you watched my video, you already know kind of why I like this. But if you didn't see that one, here's the general idea. Now, there are a few other things out there that smell like Allure Ohm Sport. We have Versace Pour Ohm, which came out four years after the, re the release of the Chanel. That one, the Versace, is brighter, it's fresher, uh, a little bit more citrus forward, okay? Whereas the Chanel is creamier, heavier, and aldehydic. Now, you also have Missoni Wave. Now, Missoni Wave is going to be the newest of the bunch, well, aside from this, but talking designers, that one came out just a few years back. And essentially, Missoni Wave kind of combines the best of both worlds from the Versace and the Chanel, takes those aspects and it combines them into one. And that's great. And those options are fantastic. But if you wanted something that was a straight up clone of Chanel Allure Ohm Sport and nothing else, that's where this one comes into play. It is by far the closest to just that particular one without changing it up at all like the Versace does and like the Missoni does to some extent, kind of combining a few different aspects. This one is straight up Allure Ohm Sport with the aldehydes, the tonka bean, the orange. It's creamy, sweet, fruity, citrusy, smells beautiful. I love everything about this DNA. And I have to say, while this could potentially land them in some hot water, I like the presentation. It looks really nice. You know, maybe it's not quite like uh, the extreme that they went with cloning the Tom Ford private blends. Maybe they'll be okay on this. I don't know. Uh, I'm not a legal advisor, but I do like it because it doesn't look like your typical clone bottle. This can sit on your shelf and actually look pretty nice and sleek and modern. Uh, next up, we have one from Fragrance World. This one is Supreme Loam Extreme, which is an eau de parfum. And again, you could tell just by looking, or at least you can make the assumption, that it is a clone of Loam Ideal Extreme by Guerlain. And if you thought that, you would be 100% correct. Now, I bought this before it was available on any discounter. Uh, Fragrance Buy didn't have it yet. None of them did. So I got mine off of eBay. Paid a little bit more for it on eBay than what it's available for now, but uh, it was well worth it to me. And so, yeah, you can get this one on Fragrance Buy right now for about $37. I paid um, closer to 50 on eBay, um, but that was a blind purchase. I was going off the picture and the name, really crossing my fingers that it would be a clone of Ideal Extreme, and I lucked out big time. It's a killer clone. It's got the tobacco, it has the plum, and of course has the almond. They really nailed it here. They got all of those special aspects about the Guerlain, um, and they did it right. And that's one of my favorites of the entire line, the Lomidiol line, the extreme version, one of my favorites. Now, it's stabilized in the market, and you can pick that one up on a lot of discounters now easily. But for the longest time, there was a span of months where it was sold out all the time. 
And if you want to get your hands on anything rare, discontinued, or hard to find, but you're always late, you're always at work and doing something important, and you miss out when things come into stock, if you hit the first link down below and sign up to my mailing list or send a text to the number down below, you will be notified each time something good comes into stock or a big sale comes up. A lot of times there's flash sales, 24, 48 hours. You miss them, you know, it happens. Life happens. If you get on those lists, you will be notified and you will be able to jump in before it sells out or the sale ends. But yeah, Supreme Loam Extreme, I really like it. I think it's a fantastic clone. And if you like this DNA, you will for sure love this. Let's keep it moving with Latafa Mahir Legacy. This is a clone of Parfums de Marley Sedley, which is really nice. It's one of my favorite um, summertime offerings from the brand of Parfums de Marley. Nice and bright, effervescent, sparkly, fresh. It's a great citrus ambroxan, uh, musky scent. A little bit of a sweet kick as well, but not to the point that it throws it out of the summer category. A really nice balance there. Minty green aspect about it as well. Smells amazing. The problem with the Parfums de Marly is it's expensive. This one is going to be right around, I think it's $37 to $40. Very fair pricing here. And again, Parfums de Marly, their prices are all over the place now because discounters aren't really discounting them all that much. So if you're just really trying to get the most out of your dollar, I recommend jumping for this. Unless you can get Sedley for when it pops up on one of those sales or something, um, you can just go ahead and buy this one instead of buying it at full retail. Okay, next up we have Star Men Nebula, and this is another Fragrance World clone. And this one is very exciting because it is a clone of Pure Malt by Moogler, which is basically one of the very many discontinued masterpiece fragrances. They have so many, Pure Malt, Pure Havan, Ultra Zest, Cryptomint, uh, Pure Coffee, Pure Wood, legitimately so many. And unfortunately, I don't even have all of them. I've done pretty well. I've picked up all of the, the most notable ones, but I don't have them all. And that sucks because when they were out and about and you could get them all over the place for 40, 50 bucks, I was just starting out and I didn't have the money to buy them. And now years later, they're all gone and I wish that I could have them all, but I can't. I am lucky enough to have a couple bottles of pure malt. I'm set there. However, it does bring comfort to me knowing that I have a fantastic clone of that one to where I don't have to stress about ever burning through my real bottles when I can go for this one. It's that close. It gets that kind of malt whiskey smell down, that kind of chocolatey, gourmand, sexy sweetness, that patchouli. God, this is a beautiful scent. I love this DNA. If you can't get pure malt, go for this one for a literal fraction of the cost. Uh, mid 30 range on this one, somewhere around in there. It is so reasonable and so good. Running down to the end, we have Latafa Socrat Eau de Parfum, which is a clone of Aqua de Joe Profumo or Aqua de Joe Parfum, because as you have probably learned by now, those two are interchangeable, very similar. The Parfum is the replacement of Profumo and they're making it super easy for the consumer. Now you have three different levels of intensities that you can choose from, just looking at it on paper, the EDT, the EDP, and the Parfum. They're making it black and white for people who aren't like us, who nerd out over this stuff. It makes sense, it's smart. And I really can't be too sad about Profumo going away when the Parfum version is basically that, but actually a little bit more smooth off the top because you lose some of that grassy green opening. And now this one here does have some of that green kind of grass smell in the opening. So they definitely were really, really pushing for getting as close as they could to Profumo and they did an incredible job. And regardless, you know, this is going to be more affordable than both of those. Profumo Parfum, this is every bit of 40 bucks, maybe even a bit less. Profumo Parfum are well into the 100s at this point, mid $100 range. So a lot of savings here. And we're gonna finish this one off with another Parfums de Marley clone. Sorry, I promise I'm not picking on the brand, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. This is Detour Noir by Al Haramain, which is a clone of Leighton. Uh, by far, probably the most hyped up clone. There's quite a few of them. Um, recently, uh, Amber Oud Blue uh, Edition, right? Amber Oud Blue Edition or Blue, uh, one of the two. God, I can't even remember them anymore. It's getting ridiculous. I had to check so I wouldn't mislead you. It is Amber Oud Blue, which is a parfum, not Blue Edition, because that one's from Al Haramain. So this is the clone that 
most recently got a good amount of hype. Amber Oud Blue, trying to show you it, but I don't think it's even showing up. Take my word for it. Uh, but Detour Noir is the more affordable one, and this is the one that really got that initial hype first. It's very well deserving. It's $32, $33 on discounters when it's in stock. A great price for, by far, just one of the very best latent clones on the market that I've tried. Alrighty guys, that's gonna do it for me. Six great fragrance clones that are gonna turn heads and people are gonna love these. Again, links will be down below. And again, if you wanna be the first to know about anything rare, discontinued, or hard to find coming into stock or about any big sales coming up, get on the mailing list, get on the texting list. It's completely free to sign up to both of those and I promise you won't regret it. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.